sometimes if a place gets your order wrong, next time you go there, you like ask them a million times and you're like really overly cautious. So that's going to kind of lead us into our discussion about the Constitution today. Because remember when they wrote the Articles of Confederation, they kind of were like traumatized from England a little bit. So they were like, no, no government. Government is bad. No, the government should not be allowed to do anything. Like they were just kind of like scared and like in a vulnerable place emotionally. And then after a couple of years when they had like a lot of problems, like there was a lot of problems, like people were killing each other. It was not going well. Um, they were like, ooh, maybe the government like does need to have a little bit of power, perhaps. Maybe the ability to collect taxes, maybe to have an army, maybe maybe there's a reason that other um, nations' governments have those things. Like maybe those things are beneficial in some way. So the founding fathers were like looking at each other and they were like, ooh, it's kind of low-key hard to run a government with no money, no power, and no structure. We should like edit this document. And you know how sometimes, bear with me, you know how sometimes when you're working on a project and it's like going so bad that you realize it's like you can't come back from it. Like you just have to start over. When they were trying to edit the Articles of Confederation, they were kind of like, oh my God, this is literally so dysfunctional. It would just be smarter and better to just like throw it away and start over. So then that's what they did. But then when they got out of their little office, some people were like, whoa, man, what do you mean you threw it away? But you see why they kind of, I see why they threw it away, do you?